So today we're going to be reviewing this Acer Chromebook Spin 314. So this is a relatively new Chromebook model. It was launched just recently. And uh, overall though, I don't think I can recommend it because at the current uh, price of time of review, it was $400. And for $400, you can actually get more powerful Chromebooks with better screens. Um, that's actually the TLDR version of the review. And if we want to go a little bit deeper, um, this one has an Intel Pentium N6000. So this is kind of like a low-end entry-level processor. It's not really used in like business laptops, for example. This is really just for low-end entry-level stuff. But compared to some of the ARM-based uh, Chromebooks, this one actually does give pretty good performance. And after using this machine for about a week, um, my conclusion is that, you know, it feels adequate for doing office productivity work and it's just fine for web browsing and you know watching videos and typing stuff and doing video calls and stuff like that. My biggest complaint about this machine actually is its display. So Acer doesn't really tell us exactly uh, what technology is used here but I think it's a TN panel. So I've opened this uh, Amazon video page here, The Expanse. So we've got James Holden, wonderful show if you haven't seen it. And see if we tilt the display, right? You can see his the colors invert. So yeah, this is not a great display for the money because you can get an IPS display for, in like I mentioned, in a similarly priced uh, laptop. And in my opinion, this is kind of a fatal flaw, this machine, because for me at least, and perhaps it's just because I'm getting older, when I use a laptop, the things that I care the most about, number one are, is the display, because that's what I'm looking at. Number two, what I care about is how I use the laptop. So for example, it's the keyboard here. And I don't know if you can hear it, but when you run your fingers across it, you know, it, it clacks a little bit. But overall, I think the keyboard's actually all right. I like this touchpad. It's kind of got a glass-like finish to it, so, and it's been very responsive. So yeah, Keyboard, touchpad, and screen. Those are the three things, at least in my opinion, that are the most important. And then the performance even is almost secondary. But for this machine, performance I think is actually adequate for what we're going to use it for. So the Acer uh, Chromebook Spin is a convertible laptop. So if we put it on its side here, what that means is we can actually lay the screen flat and we can also fold the screen back over and we call this like a tablet mode. And in tablet mode, um, the keyboard doesn't work and we can just, you know, use it like a normal tablet. All right, so let's just put it back into laptop mode here. So because it is a convertible laptop, they actually put a lot of the uh, buttons on the side of the machine. So we've got the power button on this side and the volume controls on the other side. So in terms of ports, I think this machine is pretty generous. We have a full function USB type C port, meaning you can do power, video, and data at the same time. Um, it doesn't do Thunderbolt though, so keep that in mind. And we have a USB 3 type A port, a combo a headphone microphone, and a micro SD slot. So because this uses eMMC, we're actually not able to fully even utilize the USB 3 five gigabit per second data rates. Um, I did a test file transfer 10 gigabytes into the machine using an SSD, and I was only getting around 200 megabytes per second. And on the other side here, we've got the lock port, a full-size HDMI, which isn't necessarily super common on Chromebooks, and another USB Type-A port. So all in all, you know, it's not a bad machine. There's not a lot of flex to it. It's all made of plastic. But I just feel that, you know, the value is just not there because you're able to find other machines that have 1080p displays, full laptop chips for the same money. And maybe those machines came out last year. Oh, and also, last thing, because it's a Chromebook, right, um, they do have expiration dates. This machine is relatively new, and this one is supported until June 2030. So Google did extend their uh, support policy. Previously, it was only five years, which was kind of short. And on these new machines, you have eight years of support, which isn't bad. But at the same time, um, you might also, if you're not like 
bound to necessarily getting a Chromebook. You may consider getting a Windows machine or something else because they don't really have these built-in uh, deadlines, so to speak. All right, so that's the end of the review. Hope you found it to be useful.